Right, so is the court ruling from the Satoshi trial actually final? Is that the actual decision that was made by the court? You know, all right, I, I shot a video last night and after I watched the trial, I literally, uh, you know, sat and watched the whole thing live and was, was shocked. I was stunned on the edge of my chair that the court was able to make a decision without reviewing the, uh, the dockets in full. I, I, was, I was rather shocked. That's, that was my first impression, but I heard what I heard. He said what he said. Now, in hindsight, in looking at it a little further and reconsidering it, it seems like the claim that Cope, now Cope was the claimant, Craig Wright's the defendant. There's also a claim against BTC Core where Craig Wright's the defendant, where Craig Wright's the claimant. That's a separate separate action. But but the particular claim which he's ruling on is the Copa claim, which are those four those four uh, sentences that the that he the Copa wants the court to declare as a matter of law. So the court's going to make a declaration on those matters as a matter of law or not as a matter of law. So those four things have to be determined. Those are the four things that he said in the uh, in the decision yesterday. So it appears that uh, it appears. I don't know. It appears that the 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 quick knee jerk reaction that I made yesterday about oh Craig like right lost the case. He's not Satoshi Nakamoto at the trial level, and he's got to appeal. That seems premature. All right, it seems premature because those four claims, those four allegations that are in the uh, they are they match up exactly with what with which is what Cope was uh, asking for in their claim. Those four sentences. Craig Wright is not the author of the Bitcoin white paper. Craig Wright is not the creator of the Bitcoin system. Craig Wright doesn't have yeah, have uh, and he's not Satoshi Nakamoto. And one more thing, those four things that the court said, and that's the same four things that the that uh, was mentioned yesterday, uh, in the court. All right, so it 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 seems like the court still got to make his finding. He still got to make a finding. It seems premature. So um, I was just, I want to re kind of, I'm not going to take the video down that I made yesterday because it's uh, still very inspirational and it, and it rather just kind of makes the, the, the real, real, real time uh, record of what happened, uh, you know, but it seems like, you know, there, there was so much, uh, you know, just, just what the court said live, it just appeared like that's what exactly what he said. So it just, oh, he's not Satoshi Nakamoto, but it, you know, I believe it's premature. I'm gonna to have to re reevaluate this further, read the docket, and you know talk to uh, talk to some other uh, you know some 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 people that are uh, you know super up to date. Perhaps David, uh, uh, I am gonna be interviewing, talking again with <clears throat> with uh, David, the UK UK patent attorney. So I'll definitely ask him about that. That's not till the end of the month. Perhaps I could talk to Zem Gao and some other uh, scholars that you know are following this closely. So. You know, all right, I, uh, yeah, that's that's just, that's a short update. You know, I'm coming to the city right now and starting this event. We got these, uh, we got some guys already here at the San Francisco Bitcoin event, the hackathon with s -Crip. It's got Jack, Jack Lou and Michael Middleton and Josh Petty and some other guys, uh, uh, Wags, he was a baseball player. These guys are all coming to play basketball. I got meetings here until the event tonight, so I won't be able to really do much until we start the event. But, uh, you know, really looking forward to it. It's going to be a huge uh, monumental moment in time. You know, this is like a turning point. This is a pivotal turning point right here. So, and I just, uh, I'm doing my part to, to recap on this trial. Um, it seems like I may have been wrong when I, when I said what I said yesterday. Um, could be premature. So until there's uh, until there's further analysis on that, again from a non-lawyer's perspective, uh, until there's further analysis, it's going to be it's going to be a gray area, exactly of whether or not the court made that determination. It's a maybe. Watch for the Jack Pitts interview coming out this weekend. It's going to be unbelievable. It's going to be so so important for what's happening right now. All right, stay tuned. This is Gavin May. I'll see everybody at the top. I'll see you at the top.